Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back, or welcome to Destiny Reacts. First, I want to say thank y'all so much for watching my last video, dropping your comments and opinions down below, and also hitting that like button. I appreciate you. So, yesterday, Liv did a live on her YouTube channel, and she admitted that she is in California. Now, I think it's funny that a lot of people were in her comments on her past lives, and they were thinking that she was in Mexico for some reason. But she does confirm that she is in California. She says she's staying with her family. She actually asked her dad for some alcohol on the live. She went out and went out the room and asked him for alcohol. But he didn't have what she wanted, so she couldn't get any. But yeah, I guess she's staying with her family right now. And obviously she has the baby. But she talked about a lot of stuff on that live. But honestly, I was just thinking, how is a father okay with his baby just traveling so much without him <laughs> i mean think about it this is like a newborn baby traveling different states wherever she goes the baby's going and if this really is a father that this is his only child this is the only child he's ever had like how is he okay with this it really doesn't make sense to me now obviously we know that zolo said that Liv had her period before he left her so he said it possibly, there's no possible way that this could be his son. But of course he's went back and said, yes, this is his son on YouTube, you know. So it's hard to believe him at all, but it's really looking like maybe this is Zolo's baby because what normal father that this is his only child would just be okay with him going to different states with the mom? <clears throat> he don't want to see his kid? It's just weird. Liv also talked about wanting to do a meet and greet in the live, and I was just thinking, I don't think that's a good idea, but of course she thinks she's safe, she thinks nobody would really do anything to her, so she's looking for about 15 people to come and see her, spend time with her. She said that they could go to Vegas if they wanted to meet up, go to Vegas, have some fun there, so I guess if you're in California and you're interested, I guess hit her up on her Instagram. When Liv did the live, I think it was about five or six people that said they wanted to meet up with her. But there was also people on there like, they don't think that she should meet up with anybody, it's not safe. And other people were saying that she needs to watch her back and make sure that she's okay. She has kids that she needs to live for, obviously. And she has a baby that she has right now, so she needs to be careful. And I agree with that. <laughs> Why would you just want to go out and meet perfect strangers and think you're going to hang out with them? I don't know, but I guess the Mommy Anna Gang thing was kind of like that, if you ask me, so maybe this is just normal for people on YouTube. So Liv also showed us some things that she got from the Dollar Tree. She got really cute socks for the baby. She also got some pacifiers. One looked like it was for a girl, but she said it really doesn't matter because he didn't like the pacifiers anyway, so... Liv also got some really cute fans, and I thought they were cute. Then they came from the Dollar Tree, so wow. I didn't know Dollar Tree had stuff like that, but it was really cute. I actually liked it. And she also had some lashes on that she didn't want to tell anybody where she got them from, but she does say that she wants to start selling them. She also mentioned in the live that she has a lot of different streams of income, so she doesn't really have to do YouTube like that. But again, she says she's going to change up her channel. She's going to start showing different things, you know. To me, I thought she was saying she was going to quit YouTube again. But I guess she just wants to start doing different stuff on her channel. We've obviously heard that before, so it's nothing new. I really just cannot get over the fact that she's traveling with her newborn son. And not even mentioning the father or how he feels about his son just traveling to different states. Obviously, if your father of your son is a police officer... He's going to be busy or whatever, but wouldn't he like to see his son on a regular basis? Like, if not every day, at least once a week or something every other day? I don't know. It's just weird to me that she wants us to believe that there is a police officer out there whose kid she has, and she's just traveling with him. And I guess he doesn't have a problem with it. It's just sounding more and more like this is either Zolo's baby or a random dude that she had some fun with, and he's not in the child's life. Now, of course, we still have this debate over whether the baby's name is Adrian or Angel. Liv says it's not Angel, 
But I believe she would just say that just to say it. Hopefully to trick people into thinking that's not his name. But I think his name is probably Angel. A lot of people thought that they heard Robin say Adrian. So that's why they think his name is Adrian. But I'm thinking his name is Angel. Let me know what you think down below. So, so I also wanted to point out that in the live, somebody put in the comments that one of Liv's mods is actually talking to her ex, Brandon. I'll put the video clip right here. Liv, be careful. One of your mods. Ew, girl, I don't care. Ew, don't ask me about a nigga I don't talk about. Mm-mm. I do not care about none of those men I used to deal them little girls I used to deal with. Uh-uh. Y'all can have, they for the streets, okay? Y'all can have them. Every last one of them. It's okay. Shit. I'm not. <sighs> mm. I want to get my lips redone. I want to get my lips redone so bad. Why would any woman want to talk to a guy that Liv talked to and was obviously not a good person to be with as we saw how their relationship went? I don't know why she would want to do that, but okay. So Liv also talked a little bit about the baby formula shortage that's going on. It is going on everywhere. It seems like in every single state it's happening where people aren't able to find the baby formula that they need on the shelves. The shelves are just empty, it's crazy. So if you have any information on that or you are experiencing that as well, let me know down below. I think it's happening everywhere and it's really sad. People aren't able to feed their babies and it seems like maybe people are buying it up and then trying to resell it or maybe people are just hoarding it and trying to stock their piles. I have no idea, but it's crazy. Hopefully all the stores can get the formula that they need in so that everybody can buy what they need for their babies. A lot of people only feed their babies bottles. Some people do it breast and bottles, you know, a combination, but a lot of people just do formula. So for them to not have any on the store shelves, is just ridiculous and something needs to happen. Somebody did mention that Biden said that there will be new shipments coming in of baby formula. Somebody mentioned it in Liv's live, so hopefully that is true. And for anybody that's having to go through this, I'm hoping that it ends soon and y'all can get the formula that you need. Another topic that Liv talked about in this live was that she was bullied as a kid. And she mentioned it because she is seen in this video with her legs out, short shorts. And she says she normally would not wear stuff like that, but she's became more comfortable with her body and she doesn't care what people think anymore. So when she was a child, she really cared about it a lot and it was hard for her to wear what she wanted to wear. She says she often wore long sleeve shirts to school and long pants because she didn't want people looking at her body. But she's saying now, she doesn't care and she's gonna wear whatever she wants. She did say she went out in these shorts in the picture right here. She went out to eat in these shorts and people were staring at her, but she didn't care and it didn't bother her at all. So if you did watch the live or maybe you didn't, Liv was drinking throughout the entire live. She was taking, I guess, shots. I don't know. She was licking something off of her wrist. I don't know what was going on. But she said she was doing all this to calm her nerves. She said her nerves are really bad because of the whole baby formula thing. And she's worried about the baby, the baby formula. She did mention once she got to California, it wasn't that bad when she was trying to find formula. But it's gotten a lot worse. So she's worried. And for her to not be worried anymore, she's going to drink. So I don't know if you guys have ever made your own baby formula, but Liv did say that when Robin was a baby, she made her formula. And that's the only thing she drank from newborn to about one and a half. She does say that she will make a video doing the recipe and she called it barley formula. So if you are interested, she might be making a video about it and maybe that will come in handy. So I know y'all are probably thinking, why, if she can make her own formula, why would she be getting Infamil or whatever brand she's getting? And she says when she was putting the newborn baby on the barley formula that she makes, he wasn't gaining the weight that he should have been gaining. So that's why she had to switch him to Infamil. But she did say the barley formula that she made worked great for 
Robin, so maybe it's just the baby that she has now. It didn't work for him, but it worked for Robin. I don't know. Every baby is different, so I guess that makes sense. For Robin, it was good. For AJ, he needs something else. And I'm hoping that she will be able to find the formula that she needs for him. Just like everybody else out there. I'm hoping that everybody can find what they need at their stores. So Liv also wanted to know in this live that her parents are really, really cute with her baby. Obviously, they are grandparents and they've been grandparents to all of her kids. But now they get to have a newborn in the house. So I'm pretty sure that's exciting for them. I wonder if Liv is moving to California or something. She did post on her Instagram that she was done fighting for her kids and that whatever happens, she still loves them. So what if she's moving to California to get away from the whole situation because she already knows that she's not getting the kids back the way she wants them to? Just a thought. Y'all have to let me know what you thought of the live. It was split into two lives because for some reason her first live went off and I, th I don't know if she said her phone died or something. So it did split it up into two lives. So let me know what you thought about it. What do you think about her being in California? What do you think about the whole formula shortage? And do you think there is a weird situation with her having the baby in different states and traveling without the father? Does she really have a police officer boyfriend, baby daddy, or is the baby daddy Zolo? Or somebody we don't even know? Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.